When we talk methane rockets, one name invariably leaps to mind. SpaceX's Starship. It's the Colossus, the Titan, the avant-garde ambassador spearheading the methane fuel revolution. Yet, despite Starship's colossal stature, SpaceX has faced repeated setbacks in its quest for orbit during integrated test flights. The payload-carrying dream remains elusive. Meanwhile, across the globe, China is staging a seismic showstopper with its Zhu Chui 2 methane rocket. The achievements they've unlocked are sending shockwaves through the aerospace sphere eclipsing even the front-running SpaceX. How did China manage this coup? Are SpaceX and Elon Musk feeling the tremors of surprise? What is Musk's take on this? The saga unfolds today on an all-new episode of Great SpaceX. The space race is reaching its pinnacle, with the industry's behemoths, the US and China, unveiling their trump cards in a grand display of power, both to each other and to the world. Amidst the marvels of SpaceX's recent Starship flight still fresh in our minds, China wasted no time in delivering a resounding reply. Precisely at 6.30 p.m. Eastern on December 8th, the Zhu Chui 2, or Vermilion Bird, rocket soared from the Zhu Chuan Satellite Launch Center in China's Inner Mongolia region. An hour later, Landspace confirmed the mission's success. The CNSA's X page promptly extended congratulations to Landspace highlighting the Zhu Chui 2's groundbreaking achievements as the world's maiden Methalox rocket to achieve orbital launch and further elevated status as the pioneer in successful payload deployment. This flight carried three satellites, Tianyi-33, Honghu-1, and Honghu-2, to a sun-synchronous orbit roughly 460 kilometers above, each satellite weighing around 50 kilograms, totaling the payload to approximately 150 kilograms. Zhu Tui-2 has a height of 49.5 meters, a diameter of 3.35, a mass of 220 tons, a take-off mass of 268 tons, and is capable capable of carrying up to one and a half tons of cargo to SSO. This rocket uses four Tianchui-12 engines, with a maximum thrust of up to 273 tons or 60,000 pounds. These engines use liquid methane and liquid oxygen fuel, which is considered to be inspired by SpaceX's Starship. Methane is a clean fuel, cheap, easy to produce, and suitable for reusable rockets. The recent flight had the number Y3, which is the third flight of this rocket. Before this flight, Landspace had conducted two other flights with Zhu Chui 2. The first flight took place on December 14th last year with various payloads, but failed due to engine failure in the second stage. The second flight took place on July 12th this year without payload. That flight was successful, making Zhu Chui 2 become the first methane-powered rocket to reach orbit. Based on that success, the third flight was conducted and continued to achieve the aforementioned success. After this flight, Landspace is making much more ambitious plans for the coming years. Specifically, there will be about three Zhu Chui 2 missions that will be conducted next year. This number will increase to 6 times by 2025 and 12 times by 2026. With that plan, Landspace wants to put this rocket into stable operation to compete with domestic and foreign rockets, especially methane rockets like SpaceX's Starship. This flight really created a lot of impact for China as well as the global aerospace industry. Landspace recently announced a new version of the Zhu Chui family, the, drumroll please, Zhu Chui 3. This version begins to apply new materials, stainless steel like SpaceX's Starship rocket, with the purpose of partially or completely reusing the vehicle. Zhu Chui 3 will have a height of 76.6 meters and a diameter of 4.5, using 9 Tian Chui 12B engines to create a takeoff mass of 660 tons. About two and a half times more powerful than Zhu Chui 2. Thanks to that, it can carry up to 20 tons to LEO if expendable, 16 and a half tons if the first stage is restored downrange like floating platforms, and 11 tons if landed at the launch site. 
The design of the Zhu Chui 3 allows it to be reused up to 20 times. It's clear that Lance Space's goal will not only be to repeat the achievements of Zhu Chui 2, they want to use Zhu Chui 3 to directly confront SpaceX's Starship. The recent success of Zhu Chui 2 also created a strong boost for the Chinese aerospace industry. Many other organizations will take their steps soon. For example, around the middle of next year, Space Pioneer will launch their Tianlong-3 rocket. Previously, in April, with the Tianlong-2 rocket, this company became the first private Chinese company to reach orbit with a liquid-fueled rocket and the first in the world to achieve success with this type of rocket right on its first launch. Therefore, the next flight is eagerly awaited. Additionally, in the coming years, the giant rocket Long March 9 and the moon rocket Long March 10 will probably be released soon to be ready to create dramatic competition with other countries, especially the US. Confronted with China's swift advancements, particularly the recent triumph of Landspace's Zhu Tui 2, SpaceX finds itself compelled to respond with greater vigor. The success of Zhu Chui rockets in particular and Chinese rockets in general is creating a threat to U.S. rockets, to the position of SpaceX, NASA, and the U.S. companies, and the rest of U.S. aerospace. In particular, SpaceX is the largest aerospace company in the world and a typical representative of the U.S. aerospace industry, so they'll often have to compete directly with competitors from abroad. That's why they'll have to try harder than anyone else in this decisive competition. To date, SpaceX's Starship rocket has yet to reach orbit, which is their disadvantage, which is their disadvantage compared to Chinese rockets, as the pioneer rocket in using methane, being continuously surpassed by Chinese methane rockets in recent times, has been a big red flag to SpaceX and their Starship project. Moreover, they are also facing pressure from the important schedules in the coming years, like the plan to land a crew on the moon in NASA's Artemis program, or the plan to colonize Mars in the far-off future. Yet, SpaceX remains confidently positioned in this competition for several reasons. Primarily, they continue to make consistent strides in their initiatives. Starship's incremental enhancements illustrate significant progress. Recent flights have adeptly addressed challenging issues concerning engines, separation stages, and the launch system. Sustaining this trajectory could potentially lead them to achieve their orbital objectives in the forthcoming flights. Secondly, SpaceX's confidence also stems from their strategic choices. China's advancements in methane rockets, such as Landspace's Zhu Chui, draw inspiration from SpaceX's Starship. The success of these rockets validates the feasibility of SpaceX's innovative concepts. Moreover, in terms of size, power, and potential, Starship maintains its superiority over Chinese rockets. A single successful mission with Starship might be adequate for SpaceX and the US to shift the dynamics of this competition. Although the challenges on the Moon or Mars are formidable, they also present opportunities. Excelling in these missions could enable SpaceX to surpass competitors from the East. The ongoing space race is escalating into a high-stakes drama as both sides showcase their prowess and aspirations. China, bolstered by the rise of private companies like Landspace, is achieving remarkable milestones, particularly in methane rocket projects. Their exceptional ability to learn and apply knowledge positions them to challenge the long-held dominance of the U.S. in the aerospace industry. Yet, the U.S. remains undeterred, with formidable companies such as SpaceX boasting decades of development expertise and an arsenal of powerful rockets including the Falcon 9, Heavy, and the remarkable Starship, the U.S. stands firm in its confidence to prevail in this race. The showdown between the U.S. and China for for supremacy in space remains a tale awaiting its conclusion. However, regardless of the outcome, the competition between these superpowers has a silver lining. 
It drives continuous advancements in the aerospace industry. This progress is crucial as it propels humanity toward a new epoch, one where we transcend being mere Earth dwellers to becoming masters of the universe. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you want to support our channel even further, you can hop on over to our Patreon through the link in the description below. Sign up and become a patron today to gain access to exclusive content. Sounds exciting, right? In any case, we still appreciate your generosity and your passion for space exploration. As always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up and happy holidays.